No Act 8.2 announcement. There's some good news when it comes to AQ and AW features. Also, a recruitment tool for alliances so that you can find an alliance in a better fashion. And so much more as we do a special. A Marvel Contest of Champions live stream from last night. Round up special. Some things that people missed and some things that players might know about. We're going to deep dive a load of things. So yes, welcome to an MCN special uh, covering these particular new topics. So yes, hello everybody. Welcome to Friday. This is Friday's MCN. And yes, it's going to be a special rounding up all the things that were mentioned from yesterday. As I said, some things that people missed and some things that, uh, that people know about. So one of the things that uh, people missed or even Kabam missed was to put an announcement out for Act 8.2. As a lot of us thought, it would be in the March release. We were hoping for the March release, but nothing was mentioned. And you kind of think, well, wouldn't that be better to be mentioned in that? And it kind of gives you a feeling that maybe this will be an April release as opposed to a March release. We don't know just yet, but you kind of think they might want to be hyping stuff out, especially for a new month. Another thing that people missed was that Kabam Zero will be on the next edition or possibly yeah, they did say it would be the next edition. Jack said it was the next edition of uh, the live stream, which will be looking over some new quality of life improvements. Kabam Zero has been away for a little while, and that's because the last time uh, we checked in, he was focusing on some larger, mainly new player stuff uh, for the last couple of months. But um, there could be some other stuff, and he said there's some really exciting things that are coming. So maybe some new player stuff, and also some current veteran player stuff will be addressed, which is great. There's also been other quality of life improvements which we'll be covering in a greater scale in a moment. Kabam also went over the two new champions, Viv Vision and Kate Bishop. Viv Vision interests me the most, especially because you can put energy vulnerability, there's power control, there's just a lot of damage that has potential options. There's just so many things. Phasing, so Ghost 2.0. No, she is not. Uh, but she sits in her own kind of like right and also can spam some SP1s, which you can see on screen right now. She's spamming them from uh, section to section. Lots of plasma damage. Check out that plasma damage. Oh, yeah. Check out that plasma damage because you can also heal block at the same time. There's a lot of stuff going on for this champion, which is going to be incredibly cool. I'm actually very excited for Viv Vision and looking forward to getting it and also in the featured. I don't spend any money on Marvel Contest anymore, but I'll be looking forward to the featured. Uh, kind of annoying as well because I've just done the hashtag robot and uh, that's annoying because I'm like oh great I would have liked that for my Karina's Challenge Volume 3 uh, but uh, hey you can't have everything nowadays in life it's, it's normally the champions are built after the content and you're like damn I wish I had had that champion before and in contrast Kate Bishop has more of a, wow, a sting of damage. You can see it on screen right now. Nice ticks of damage, 6k a time. This is a six star version. And as well with her uh, rescaling with her tra uh, tracking uh, and how she's kind of like performing. Wow, there's a lot of uh, big red numbers there. And there's also something where right there, she kind of looks like she power controls in some sort of uh, shape or form because all the power was kind of lost on um, Red uh, Red Hulk. It's it's kind of, it's, it's not kind of confusing, but there's something that's, that's referred to as, well, I don't know if it's crushed uh, or something, but all the power just made, basically meant the champion was um, uh, was not throwing special attack. Because you can see bottom right-hand corner, two bars of power built up, built up, built up, and the heavy attack, and all of a sudden crushed. I think it was crushed that triggered meant that the champion did uh, not throw an SP3. Very odd, but as well, you could see all that damage. Look at all those those kind of ticks of damage there from some of these uh, bits of damage, like uh, Cold Snap, uh, some of the other stuff scales with it as well. Uh, I guess tracking is something that you've got to be rotating around. We'll find out more about next week, and also Perfect Arrows are probably going to play into that, but uh, yes. Um, all very exciting with those two champions and decent animations, uh, more so with Viv Vision than Kate Bishop, but Kate Bishop's still kind of like good in her own right. But uh, yeah, there's also something very interesting as well that uh, Kabam John talks about. And it's getting into the games industry. Because a lot of people have this kind of passion that they want to get into the games industry. And it was a nice little anecdote uh, to kind of like uh, find out a bit more about Kabam John and how he got the job with Kabam. And uh, yeah, it's, it's really weird because like the, the job that I have, so I work for Final Strike Games, Final Strike now. 
Uh, and I got my job because uh, of a Kabam dev, an ex-Kabam dev uh, recommended me, and then I got my job. So it's it's all it's all weird. Like the games industry is very strange how you get involved with it and get kind of like into different kind of like jobs and spaces. So yeah, it's it's really cool to kind of like learn how um, a bit to a bit more about Kabam. John, go and check out uh, the 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 stream. To kind of find out more about what was said but yeah let's kind of figure out uh, not figure out let's go over some of the new features that come into aq and aw so we'll begin with aq based features and this is pretty incredible in that we are now going to a four aq day cycle that's incredible it's incredible because you get to preset which days that you do aq so this is great. Like it's great for alliances that want to get this done midweek, and say do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then it's good because then you've got champions available, and you don't have to, you know, worry yourself, and you don't have to remember, and you've just got got that all done. So you can have your Friday, Saturday, Sunday, just focusing on stuff that you want. Yes, you'll probably have to do alliance wars, which we'll talk about in a minute. But I actually really enjoy this this quality of life improvement. It's also great for. There's also going to be great things when it comes to officers. So it takes the stress out of this stuff. Which is, you know, so important. Officers do a kind of like, um, oh, I can't remember, I was going to describe it really well then, but it is kind of like they they basically do a, a lot for just like very little when it comes to like, um, you know, uh, recognition and stuff like that. Thankless job. That's it. I think that was it's a thankless job. Yes, it's a thankless job, and you should thank your officers more often. Uh, but yeah, um, this is really cool. Scoring, I've got my notes here. So scoring is being altered to make it align up with uh, with this new system because you're probably wondering, well, hang on, we're doing four instead of five. Does not affect the scoring? Well, scoring is being aligned to kind of like deal with that one. Rewards will be distributed on the seventh day. Very important to mention. Path Planet is to help with the quality of life uh, for high end. So that's Path Planet is going to be uh, something that uh, yeah will we'll benefit those uh, more in the top end of things. The Glory Store might be cycled on a seven day cycle or, or some changes will come to it. Uh, and map, uh, map updates are in the works as well. So there's a few kind of fundamentals being changed around, uh, you know, maps and just kind of like this uh, just to be improved and brought to the next level. But I think it's just like I'm sold on having to do war, oh, not war AQ four days a week. And I'm hoping that it's situated on doing Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And then it's done. And then I can just be like, cool, well, I'll just focus on something else. And I don't have to worry about it. And it's good as well because it's like I just kind of feel five days is becoming a bit of a drag. <laughs> and AQ is not where it used to be when it, come, when it comes to like its popularity within the game. I ran a poll recently and it came out the worst with Battlegrounds and Alliance Wars being the most prioritized by alliances. Very fascinating to learn that, and that trend is something I think Kabam needs to take very seriously as to how they improve AQ. So four days worth of investment to get maximum rewards out of it, and if those rewards are buffed up, then that's even better. But we don't know about that just yet. We'll have to wait and see if there's any more info on that one as uh, things come. There's no timeline for when this has been delivered, so look out for stuff in the coming months. Okay, now let's go over the Alliance Wars features on the new thing they've introduced called Set and Forget. This again is all about reducing down the mental load for officers, but also streamlining it for you as a player to then play it. Uh, shout out to Mr. King for this little infographic. And yeah, in a nutshell, uh, there's some stuff here, but there's also some, some other stuff that was mentioned by Jax, which was define um, your defense tactics, bans all in advance instead of each war. Attacking is now two days. You're able to define them for above lower and current tiers and changes applied during war will carry over to the next war. Uh, yeah, so it takes place on a two day period. It won't impact the length of a season, which I think is another very crucial uh, question that was asked. Um, that's really good. And in future, there's going to be some stuff where officers will be able to pick champions and make defenses. Uh, and choose from like that's that features i didn't it's not coming with this but it will come uh, later on in like a, a 2.0 uh, which kabam john mentioned and it, by the way if you want to go and listen to that particular or watch that particular live stream go and check it out um in the link in the description and uh, follow uh, kabam on uh, twitch as well uh, there's also more stuff so you can't switch bands so when the matchmaker kind of like gets kind of locked in um, it's uh, I've put it skipping so it flows the process 
of officers setting it up. So I think what I'm saying is like when you kind of like when the matchmaker sets, like you're 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 set, um, which affects things like masteries as well. So um, that is going to be a tricky thing. And Kabam are looking to kind of sort that out. So like you could um, preset a map. You could just like, oh, I'm in one mastery. Boom. Um, it's set. It basically takes a snapshot. And then it's like, okay, well, if you change your mastery, change your masteries. Uh, oh, man, I love mastery loadouts. I really I really would like Kabam to kind of get that sorted. That would just be so darn decent uh, to get that in game. And I think that's really it. They haven't said anything about impacting rewards, but I think that it's just going to be a case of, um, yeah, as soon as it's released, I think it's going to be good for the player base. Same with AQ, a excuse me. And also when, when players leave, um, it's a little bit more uh, more fluid in setting up defenders uh, for a um, for like a, you know new arrival to an alliance. There's a lot of stuff that's going on with it, uh, but yeah, only good news can come of this uh, new feature for officers and also for players in this new system. And one of the final things was that Alliance recruiting was mentioned. So there's going to be a board to find Alliance inside of the game, posting what each Alliance does with the requirements. And uh, yeah, it's in the very, very early stages of development. This is again to kind of streamline the process of going to... Well, don't go to global chat, for the love of God, don't go to global chat to try and find an alliance. Uh, a lot of the time people like, um, go to forums, go to discords, go to Reddit, go to Facebook, go wherever. Um, uh, there needs to be a better process, and what better process to do it in-game. So if there was like a, a, a leader, uh, not a leaderboard, a recruitment board um, looking for people, then at least you can prepare for, you can at least go... I know the score when I arrive. I know the requirements. I know what I'm working towards, and I know something that fits me personally. If that's there, then I think that's going to be better. People are going to be able to find alliances again better. It may mean that it's because it's in early development. There'll be other things. I'm sure people will be kind of saying with the words vetting, like vetting process. Like, okay, well, someone goes to apply for something, and it's like, okay, well, we'll check you out. Um, have you handled this, 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 and this? Yes. No, maybe bring them in and they don't perform. I mean, that's the thing. Same thing whether you apply for a apply for a job or you're kind of um, or you're a manager and you've kind of like got people in to uh, to apply for the job and you're like, okay, you get the job, but they turn out to be terrible. Like you don't know that. Like it's just the thing you have to get like, like a wing and a prayer to kind of get them in the alliance first uh, to kind of like find out whether or not it's going to be the case. But yeah, I mean, positive um, that we're getting this particular new feature coming. Now, one of the final things mentioned in the live stream was about Twitch drops. Now, I know that a lot of people within the community are still very rooted in YouTube being the place for Marvel Contest of Champions, which is a bit of a shame at times because you look at the state of like where games are on Twitch as to like popularity. And it's sad to note that even like, like Marvel Snap, which is a brand new game, has already just surpassed Marvel Contest of Champions when it comes to follow account. And Marvel Contest of Champions has been on Twitch for a lot longer than Marvel Snap. And also like view account at the moment has 2.2k uh, viewers where Marvel Contest of Champions just doesn't. It will be really cool to see a community grow through Twitch and twitch.tv because of what they can do with Twitch drops. And this is what Kabam Jax did say in, in it. And I know people will not be sold on, on Twitch, but it has features which YouTube doesn't, and especially with Twitch drops. Twitch drops will allow you to get a free crystal just by watching Marvel Contest Champions-based content. It's something they're developing, and it's something that is going to come into it. So if you are interested in getting involved, then do follow channels. Not just myself, but it massively will appreciate if you could just follow. Uh, following's free. If you've got Amazon Prime, you can support a uh, Marvel Contest Champions Twitch streamer. But also, you'll be able to get yourself Twitch drops uh, by, you know, following and watching Marvel Contest of Champions Kabam-based, um, you know, live streams. So that would be really cool down the line. And I'm glad that we've reached a point where they're working on this because before, I did ask a Kab old Kabam uh, community manager, it was Kabam Thel, about this uh, years ago. And I just said, you've got to be pushing for Twitch drops. If you do Twitch drops, you give free stuff to people who watch streams of Marvel Contest of Champions. It just made sense to have that extra bit of interactivity. And also it's handy for marketing because then they can go and speak to other streamers, get bigger numbers, 
uh, of people and kind of like get new communities to come to our community at the same time. And that would be really cool because we want this game to continue on kind of like, uh, you know, going uh, for as long as possible. We've invested all this time into it. Why wouldn't we want to see it uh, go for a, a little bit longer? But in any case, that has been it. That has been the uh, the special. There's Marvel Contest of Champions news special going over some of the new features coming to the game. There wasn't, I would have gone over the side quest stuff, but there hasn't been a huge amount to, to kind of like talk about except for what I've already covered. And we've got tons, tons of stuff to cover uh, for the new side quest. Also, I have got a side quest totals video coming today. I have just updated the side side quest guide spreadsheet, which now has like a million tabs, but it's got a million more tabs to go. We've got uh, component farming totals, store best buys, spend breakdowns, best champions for objectives, rewards breaks breakdowns. Uh, I'm sure we'll have a few more things, but yeah, I'm putting a lot of effort into this particular guide this month, all before it releases on Wednesday. God. Right, in any case, that's been it. That's been the video. Thank you very much to everybody that supports the channel as a YouTube member and as a Patreon who are on screen right now. Much love. And uh, also those that support on twitch.tv slash richthemanlive. Check out some other content located on screen and I'll see you all soon. Much love. Bye-bye.